Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and welcome back to another educational video of WikiHow. Today I have a very special article for you. It will not be a waste of your time, or mine, because it is called How to Buy Nerf Gun Darts. Let's try that again. How to Buy Nerf Darts. All right, it's still dumb, whatever. With so many types of Nerf guns available, it can be really easy to buy the wrong type of darts for your blaster. Checking what kind of Nerf darts your gun takes, looking for them online or on sale in stores, and carefully selecting your darts can ensure you buy the right ones. And apparently we needed this divided into two sections, and those are determining what type of darts you need and buying your darts. Well, I may have lied just a little bit. But buying darts has always been a priority and a problem for people who are interested in the foam flinging hobby, though now more than ever it seems like that's gotten easier, but maybe it's gotten harder because there are just more dart options out there. So I'm curious what this article actually has to offer. It's actually one of the few articles I've been able to find that hasn't been updated since last year. It was updated in November of 2019, but it's got 28 co-authors? Why are there so many co-authors on this? And why is it co-authored by WikiHow staff editors? Does that mean it's good? Well, no, because it's got a 56% approval rating. So on the surface level, maybe you can't tell how this is going to turn out, but if there isn't any good information here, by the end, I'll share with you my inside tips on how to buy uh, Nerf darts or just reasonable tips that most people probably already know. Let's get into this one. This is how to buy Nerf darts according to WikiHow. Part one, determining what type of darts you need. Number one, check what type of blaster you have. There are four main kinds of Nerf blasters that take darts. Nerf dart tag blasters, elite blasters, Nerf mega blasters, and end strike blasters. They each take a specific type of dart. So you'll need to know which type of blaster you have before you select darts there should be a molded label on the side of your blaster that says which kind it is. Just four, just four main types of blasters that take darts. This is where the outdatedness of the article might show. While we're on this page, let's see what they show as a few of their categories. Nerf dart tag blasters here shows a quick 16, actually a, a pretty good looking quick 16. Below that we have elite blasters with a purple-ish, well, lavender, uh, Hailfire with red magazines, kind of reminds me of the Rapid Red actually. And then lastly, we have End Strike Blasters being represented by our favorite, the Deploy, in a kind of bluish tint. Oh my gosh, did this article predict Elite 2.0? Let's not talk about that one. I guess technically that's a subline too, or is that elite? Number two, get dart tag darts for a dart tag blaster. All dart tag blasters take dart tag darts. Some dart tag blasters have clip system magazines and some don't, but they all take the same kind of darts. So you can't go wrong as long as the package has the right name on it. So outside of the floor very much being made out of floor, they're right. Yes, obviously dart tag darts go into dart tag blasters. There have been iterations of the dart tag darts though. There are the newest ones which have blue heads with white for the Velcro. There's been just flat orange, I think those were the beginning ones with uh, black as the dart tag Velcro heads. And then there have been green and orange ones for the differentiating green versus orange timeline. There's been, I think, at least three generations of dart tag. We don't have any right now, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to find any of these, but yes, there are different types of dart tag darts that will work in dart tag blasters. I think for the most part, they're all the same. There is a rumor that dart tags coming back. Will those look the same? Will they be new? I don't know. Number three, choose elite darts for elite blasters. Most elite blasters, Doomlands blasters, and zombie strike blasters take elite darts. Not all of the elite blasters have a blue color scheme. For example, the red skinned rapid strike is orange and Aggie strike darts are compatible with elite. Now elite darts are definitely still out and about and I would remind you that any blaster that's really compatible with these half inch diameter style darts should be compatible with elite darts. That's kind of the best thing about them. They're pretty much universally compatible. They're not accurate but they work. I am still a little confused by this last statement. The red skinned rapid strike is orange. Red is orange. Red is orange. The reskinned rapid strike is a Stratohawk. And that's not 
That's orange. That's not red. The reskinned rapid strike. You meant to put res red. Oh. Spelling is important. You have no idea how long it took me to figure that one out. Oh my gosh. Number four, purchase mega darts for mega blasters. The Mega N-Strike subseries uses large red Mega Darts or Mega Aki Strike Darts, which are better. Mega Blasters are usually large and red. Why yes, yes they are. I'm glad that they pointed out that the Mega Aki Strike Darts are definitely better than Mega Darts. They do fly more accurately. The ranges might not be the best, but I'd choose accuracy over sporadic range if I, if I had to, and I think you might as well. Though typically they've been a little bit more expensive. Number five, select the right darts for your end strike blaster. Look at that barricade RV-10. What a blast from the past. Taking its Whistler darts that are blue with short black heads. Wait, are those Whistler darts? Who did this? Who did this artwork? Those aren't Whistler darts. I know what Whistler darts are. Those are not Whistler darts. The Nerf end strike series uses a few different types of darts, depending on the type of blaster you have. The darts for this series are mostly not interchangeable like the dart tag or elite blasters, so be very careful when selecting your darts. The name of the gun should be on the side of the gun, either on a sticker or etched into plastic. The Stampede ECS, Raider, Rapid Fire CS35, Blaster, and Long Strike CS6 all take clip system darts or elites and airstrikes. Airstrikes? What the heck is that? The Barricade RV-10 and the Maverick Rev-6 take Whistler darts, but can also use Elite darts. The Maverick uses Suction darts, but can also use Elite darts. The Nightfinder X-3 uses Glow-in-the-Dark Suction darts, but again, can also use Elite darts. The Reflex IX-1 and the Jolt Blaster take Elite darts. The Nerf Modulus line, despite being marked as an N-Strike subseries, uses Elite darts. Talking about N-Strike is weird because it's just so broad. And technically, every Elite Blaster is an N-Strike Elite Blaster. So does that mean that every Elite Blaster is technically N-Strike? Well, let's ignore that. Let's just talk about the yellow N-Strike Blasters, because I think they were predominantly all yellow. They took a few different types of darts. So you had Sonic Micros, which are the Whistlers, Micros, which were the suction cups, and then you had <laughs> everyone's favorite, Streamlines, the first official clip system dart even though it's a magazine, not a, a clip, but we know that Nerf likes that naming convention. So streamlines were almost good. I mean, they, they fired kind of well. They, they were unreliable, super inaccurate, and I mean, they were not compatible with everything because their head went a little further back, so you couldn't even put them in the front of things like a Night Finder. So for all intents and purposes, the Elite Dart did make the streamline completely outdated and that's why you can only find elites in stores now and not streamlines. Number six, make sure your gun doesn't use discs. Some Nerf guns use discs instead of darts. Those guns will usually have a drum that the discs go into and you'll notice that the drum is way too big for the darts. Don't get darts if you need discs. No discs? We're anti-disc here? Boo. Also, there's no section for rockets. Boo. Number seven, determine how many darts you need. Different types of Nerf guns can take different amounts of ammo. If you can only load one dart at a time, you don't need a huge pack of ammo. Overbuying your ammo increases the chances that you'll lose it. But does it though? Like what if you just use what you need and then you keep the rest of it in a safe space for when you need it later? This is dumb. Moving on to part two, buying your darts. This is where it all gets good. Number one, shop at an online retailer. Online retailers like eBay and Amazon are a great option for buying new darts for your Nerf gun. You can filter your search by brand, the type of your gun you have, or the darts you need. You can also use Nerf's official website, although if your gun has been discontinued, it might not be listed. Some online retailers might charge a shipping fee, so look for that information before you order online. Amazon has great deals on Nerf blaster ammunition and magazines. Some people might charge shipping fees if you order online? The Nerf. Unbelievable. From Nerf's official website, it's, it's pretty obvious because they only sell their official brand ammo and you know it's going to be safe, rather compressible heads. Because once you start looking at other websites, you'll be immediately greeted by full vinyl jackets. FVJs, as we like to call them, are vinyl-y heads that do not compress and are pretty much all plastic. And there's a few different levels in between that and like this style of head. And the point is that some online retailers who sell a lot of darts for a very good price, which is why it's so attractive, 
will often have different types of those rather vinyl-y heads. And for especially parents who are getting them for younger children maybe, that might not be what they want in terms of safety. You can still shop on sites like Amazon, eBay, and AliExpress for your darts, but I recommend checking the product reviews rather than taking the stock photos and butchered descriptions at face value. Buyer beware. That said, plenty of shops online, I'll be sure to list a few of them all over the place, but they have good deals and they have good darts. Excuse me, do you have any darts? Sorry, I'm out of darts. Number two, look for deals in stores. Some toy stores will periodically have sales on Nerf gun ammo and accessories. If you don't need ammo right away, waiting for a good deal can help you save a lot of money, especially if you have multiple types of Nerf guns. Multiple types. Yeah, I got a few of those. I would say waiting for sales in stores is always a good idea too. If you can keep track of those things, sure. Nerf darts are often the most expensive darts on shelves. And if you're looking to save money, there's actually a better choice widely available already. The Adventure Force Waffle Head Darts. Is that what they're called officially? I don't know. They don't work perfectly in every blaster. However, for the blasters they do work well in, they work well. The floor is made out of floor. They are much better with accuracy. They have really good foam quality and the heads will stay on just as reliably as standard Nerf Elite Darts. And they cost a lot less. So if you can find these on sale in stores, oh boy, that's a deal. Don't be like this guy. There is absolutely no reason to have that face expression for a sale on 11 Nerf Elite Darts. Excuse me, store owner, do you have any darts? Sorry, I'm out of darts. Number three, check the toy aisle. Oh my gosh, I hadn't thought of that. Most stores that sell Nerf products have the corresponding ammo stocked near each gun. Look on the shelves for the type of gun you have and check around it to see if the ammo is nearby. If it's not, look for the particular ammo your gun takes. If you've made it to the store to check for deals, I think you're going straight to the toy aisle for this stuff. But um, the box art's kind of cool. This guy's making a reach for those purple hail fires right above these beautifully green ugh, quick 16s. And you got some barricades and those vigilons in blue and then the uh, <laughs> Elite 2.0 deploys at the very bottom. Man, when are we switching to this kind of packaging nerf? And when are we getting these color schemes? I want to know. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any darts for this blaster? Sorry, I'm out of darts. Getting real sick of your shit, Luke. Number four, look for necessary accessories. Depending on the Nerf gun you have, you might need a clip system magazine. Make sure your clip system magazine is in good working order before you buy new darts. If the clip is smashed or broken, your darts may not load properly. That sounds about right. If your magazine is damaged, go get a new one, which I would imagine you would get in the toy aisle, at the store, preferably if it's on sale. I will also recommend though, online stores for other types of magazines that might be better. Don't buy six round magazines. Those are not worth it. And that's it, that, that's the article. All right, well, I don't know if I, I learned too much, but there's always one more thing down below. Community Q&A. How do I obtain clips and or magazines? We just answered that. You can look online at your local retailer or at garage sales. Make sure your clip or magazine is compatible with the blaster for which you are purchasing. I guess you could also look at thrifting stores to see if you can luck out and find one or garage sales as they point out. Yeah. Uh, go buy one. What kind of darts would I need for a yellow Nerf Recon CS6? A yellow Nerf Recon CS6. Is it part of the N-Strike line? Well, I think we already addressed that then, but carry on. Any darts will work fine. However, official Nerf Elite darts are better because they are made for the gun. Hey, you want to use your Recon CS6? Totally fine. Go right ahead. It's not like it's been reiterated five times since the official release but you can't use any other darts from the beginning. You even have to modify it, like cut the tabs on the inside to take tagger darts or suction darts, because we used to do that and it was a lot of fun, but they don't feed very well in magazines, so don't do that. Just use elite darts, but don't use elite darts because they're bad. 
Eh. Can I use Nerf Elite End Strike darts for a Mega Blaster? What is even the purpose of this article? No, End Strike darts are too small for a Mega Blaster and will not fit. But Whistle darts might. How would I determine whether I need to buy more clips or drums for my retaliator? It depends on your type of firing rate. If you are more of a sprayer, buy a big mag or drum. If you're careful with ammo, keep the included mag. You can still go and get more. Just buy an 18 round magazine or buy a worker 22 for my friends because they have them. So looking back at this article, yeah, it's kind of dumb. I know I lied to you from the beginning, but what did you really expect? But how to buy Nerf darts? You know how to buy it. You take your money and you throw it at someone. You throw it at someone in person, you throw it at someone online, and then you have purchased the darts. Do you need a whole WikiHow article on that? No. Do you need me to explain that to you? No. The more interesting question would be, which darts do I buy? But because this article didn't ask that question, I don't technically have to go into too much detail on it. And this article didn't even address things like outdated Boomco stuff. I say outdated because I don't know if you can find these in stores as much. You probably still find them on Amazon, but not the same way. Uh, where do you find your ultra darts? Didn't mention ultra darts, so we won't have to talk about them. But more interestingly, where do I buy my best half-length darts? Because now that the Nexus Pro is out and they're selling half darts in stores and they have half darts available online in certain places, this could get very interesting. I provided a few dart recommendations, but if WikiHow wants my thoughts on every dart type out there, then I'm putting in for overtime. That's gonna do it for today, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video, feel free to leave a like, comment down below, is this article dumb, or am I dumb, or it could be both. And if you wanna stay up to date with the latest WikiHow videos, feel free to subscribe, and I will get you another one in a month or five. Yeah, I can't tell you right now. We'll see what happens. Thanks again, everyone. I'll see you later.